We're back in the chairs. Whew, it feels good not having the camera right now. It really does. It feels liberating. I hate having to like worry about what I'm looking at on camera. I agree. Great contribution. Good start already. I can tell. I can, I can tell kind of what it's going to be. It's going to be Robbie being like, "Oh yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. Yeah, those are good episodes. Uh, yeah, those are some I agree. Ones. Yeah, I agree. I agree. What are you doing? Things all tangled up. So you, you talk. Wow, two weeks. I came in here. I even heard Robbie make his Auga noise and like he's getting ready for the podcast. And this is how he gets ready for the podcast by not talking and fumbling around for the first. Hey, hey, minute. I'm, you know I wanted I'm to say saying, something man. to start off with this, but you always just immediately assume it's your turn to talk because so it is my turn to talk. Because you're I do, when I try to pass the floor, you're like I gotta unplug my microphone real quick. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, why'd you well, make your Auga sound if you weren't ready to do the podcast? What? Why'd you do the Auga if you weren't? You clearly weren't ready for the podcast. Because I haven't done it in so long. It doesn't really get me in the right headspace like it used to. <sighs> get back into the You're a fool, it. man. That's what you are. You're a fool. What do you want to talk about? You made it sound like you had these urgent things. I do. Do. I was going to say. So, BBG is what I'm talking about, basically, right? Let's talk. This is, this is big news. I've been, I've been waiting. I've been, whole, I've been sitting on this this story for like five days. Have you really? Yeah. Because so, I was like, and I talked to other people about it. But I can't tell Robbie because Robbie has to hear about it first on the podcast. I talked to other people about it. But how do you have the restraint to just not say this? It was so hard because we kept doing other shit. Like, because you had a friend over, and I thought I was having a friend over. Oh, which yeah, we'll get yeah, to that yeah. later in the episode, and then everything else. But no, this uh, this one person I was talking to, <laughs> they brought up like with no real, um, <laughs> with no real pushed in that direction. Yeah, just it was random. It was spur of the moment. It was in the middle of the conversation. It just changes this. They were they brought up doctors right and now and they were they're saying that they don't like doctors I'm like that's normal I'm like yeah I'm like it's whatever and they're talking they're talking about they're moving soon I'm like yeah we should probably try to find a doctor you like just in case you get sick it's really good to you know have someone you know you can go to because it is kind of a stressful thing picking a new doctor and everything else yeah I'm afraid to do that we moved here what seven, seven months, months ago, ago. I, I, still, I still haven't picked either we moved here actually like almost a year ago it's been like nine months yeah. and I still haven't found a doctor my point was I was just saying to them, like yeah you should probably find one blah 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 and then they're like yeah especially because I want my tubes tied. Whoa! And I was, and my response, I was like, okay. And I said, I said to them, I was like, yeah, honestly, you probably, you probably should look for a doctor for that one. That's not really an at-home procedure, I don't think. Now I've got one done right, and then they're like, ha 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 ha, yeah. And I was like, yeah. And like a minute or two passes, and then they're like, so, uh, do 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 you want kids? And I was like, yeah, I do. No biggie. And then she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, yeah. Pretty awkward so far, you'd say, right? This is that, that real uncomfortable back and forth. So forward. uncomfortable if I had this and then, firsthand. And then she's like, well, is it an issue that I don't want kids? Yes. Have you guys, you guys haven't gone out before, uh -uh. right? So how far into communicating is Not this? far enough for this conversation. You got to respect the girl who just wants to get right out in the open with no, the No, it, it gets weirder. Because <laughs> then, you, yeah, no, 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 no. She's then like, <sighs> she's like, so you do want to have kids? I'm like, yeah, I do. So you do you want a party? And then she's like, so, okay, haha, that's cool. And like, I'm like, okay. And like, not, not, not like an hour passes, and then Randy comes back up in the conversation. And she says like, so do you think you'd ever leave me for not wanting to have kids? <laughs> 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 now, keep in mind, I've known this person for mm, five seconds. And this is the conversation I'm having. Now, I'm at this point invested. I'm curious what's going on here. So I, play, I keep playing. I said, uh, I don't think so. I said, I, 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 I said, I couldn't, I said, first of all, we're not together. And then I said, I couldn't, I said, I don't have an answer to that. And I said, I'm not really sure. And I said, realistically, it'd be just as wrong for me to expect you to have kids as you'd expect me not to have kids in that situation. So I have no idea what to, I mean, and also it's so far on the line, there's no reason to even think that far ahead. Cause I thought if I just said to her, no, she might have a mental breakdown and just like cease to exist. Like she would just literally evaporate. Just fade away. Well, if someone's, if someone says to you, I don't want to have kids. Will you leave me for that? Yes. I think it means that they're about this close, and you're not. There's no visual for this episode. They can't tell, but like, like a fucking centimeter away saying. from being like not 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 existing, just disappearing from the universe without a trace, like going like spontaneously combusting. Yeah. That's how close they are to it. They're they're right on the edge of it. And you think spontaneous combustion can't possibly be an emotional thing? No, one hundred percent is. You spontaneous so? combustion is a thousand. You get too overwhelmed. If you get too overwhelmed in life, you're going to spontaneously combust. Everyone knows that. Interesting. Mm-hmm. If you're having a really bad day and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse, you're just going to explode. Yeah, that's True. actually fucked up. There's been many, many times where nah, I've been getting overwhelmed and I also have to feel mm -hmm. overheated. You think your head's I shaking sweating like, uh, like crazy. Yeah, you're gonna pop. Like, I need to get the fuck out of this place. <sighs> this fucking person, though. So it's like, you're telling me you're going to message me and be like, 
do you, so do, would you leave me for wanting to have kids? Is this still on the dating app, or had you two exchange numbers? And this was Unfortunately, text? it was also exchanging numbers and using texts. Well, it's a, it's a little better that this happened after the number exchange. Imagine if this was still like right away on the app. I wish it was on the app. That could unmatch and been like, this person's fucking crazy. That's true. You can still do that, though. You just don't yeah. respond. They're kind of hot, so... It's the weak bus, the bad part, man. The BBGs, man. I started off by saying BBGs. It's a big, beautiful girl, man. Ba- so beautiful weak. baby girl. I have no respect for you right now. You're so weak. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You're the weakest of the weak. You're the, you're the meekest of the meek. I really am. It's pathetic. Fuck you, dude. But no, so they were like, so would you want to leave me? I didn't have an in with you. And I was like, that's preposterous. You're even bringing this up. And I was straight up like, there's no reason you think that it makes sense why you'd be thinking about this. Did you say that? You're yeah. This is preposterous. I said preposterous. Yeah. That's awesome. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm not having it. And then they're like, yeah, sometimes I just go, I just don't like to think about, I have abandonment issues. I just don't like to think about this happening. So I want to get out of the way now. I'm like, what do you are mean you get insane? out of the way now? I know. I was like, what do you mean get out of the way now? It's like, we're not dating. What are we getting out of the way? So I don't know. Listen, I know you met my mom already, but like, it's just, it's going too fast for me. And then I said to her, I was like, I'm sorry, that wasn't funny. No, it wasn't. I was going to move on from it. I was going to let you get off the hook of that one. No, don't but I said to her, I was like, funny. I'm, I said, even if that would be an issue, it's so far away from what's currently going on. There's no reason to think about it. And then they were like, well, it'd be an issue in the future. I'm like, that's a really weird way to look at life. A lot of things would be an issue in the future. You could have cancer tomorrow. That could be an issue in the future. <laughs> I'm not going to dwell on it saying I might have cancer tomorrow. How do I have socks on and socks in my pocket? That's fucking weird, dude. I brought a pair of socks down to put on, and apparently I brought down two. You want a pair of socks, man? You got socks, socks on, too. On Fuck. Too. That's a bummer. That's weird. That would have been great if I didn't have socks. That would have been so purpose. Man, fucking fantastic. So how'd the conversation end? <sighs> Um, Are you still, still t- in the middle of a conversation, or it's just no? That's but she's kind of hot. Though. That was the whole. Point. So like, so that's how that's, 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 that's entertaining. So I mean, like, I'm still talking. I'm like, stop talking. I'm not like into it. Um, <laughs> it's so crazy though. I have abandonment issues. Yeah, because I get that sucks, dude. You brought it up, and also, but like, you can't possibly live your life thinking I have abandonment issues. So I'd want to make sure you. And also, I said to her, I was like, <laughs> I was like, let's say something did happen. What makes you think I wouldn't leave you sooner? That's what I said. And then they're like, <gasps> it was what, what, what was what was the what was the beaker noises there? What was she? Actually I don't know. Saying? I'm fucking done. Some dumb shit it was on Snapchat. It was pictures. I don't fucking know. Yeah, That's even funnier. Yeah. It's fucking photos That's of faces. So much like, what the hell is going on here? That's so much funnier. And she goes, "Will you ever leave me?" And then as you go to respond, That's her little thing pops up yep. and hangs up over the little Boop. typing keyboard, staring at you with its yep. little cute eyes, just so like just waiting like, all excitedly for your reply. Mm-hmm. And you should have just said yes. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, I should have been. I should have just ended the conversation right there. So I should have said, you know what? I'm talking to you right now. Actually, that's what I should have said. You, th- you think this might? Co- would I leave you in the future? I might leave I'm you leaving right you. Now. No, I should have been like, oh my god, I don't want kids either. Do you want to? Demon? She's like, yes. I'm like, fuck you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I should have then stopped talking to her. Then that could have been what played into the abandonment issues. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> this is gonna be really mean, and maybe you might. This whole entire six minutes out. is super mean. No, no, no. What I'm gonna say might offend a lot of people. So you might have to edit this part out. The eight minutes. How about you don't say shit on the podcast? Because you're, you're, no, you're just a piece of shit. Because you're not editing. It's like I can just say offensive because I'll take care of the mess. You're a fucking douchebag. I told you several times to put up an ad so we can get an editor, and you're like, "I'll do it tomorrow." You gotta remind me when we're not doing the podcast. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh my god. Say your say. awesome, super offensive thing. Well, people use the phrase mental health issues as a blanketed statement yeah. for everything. I think abandonment issues is one of those phrases that people use as a blanketed statement. Oh, I've been broken up with a few times. I have abandonment <laughs> issues. I, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I don't mean it's going to be edited My out. father doesn't love me and he left me. I have abandonment issues. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one's legitimate, obviously. That one's legitimate. Parents are legitimate. I, I think, think yeah. a lot of people use the breaking up thing as I think, abandonment yeah, issue. Yeah, people say breaking up is and an issue. that's not abandonment issue. That's just reality of yeah, life. Yeah, you, you're going to get broken up with and you're going to break it up with people. Sucks, Actually, I've never been broken up with. I'm awesome. Yeah, I had that streak for so long, and it got, yeah, like, it fucking fucked. fucked hard these last fucking couple of years. Yeah, I went dude. from never getting broken up with for, like, a good 10-year run to all I get is broken up Well, I guess I kind of got inadvertently broken up. I wasn't dating the person. I got ghosted by a girl randomly because she started dating someone else, so that happened. That doesn't really count as getting broken Yo, up, bro, I guess. Her loss, bro. You know what's funny, though? What? Here's, what I get to, here's what I get to smile about. Uh, I didn't know she was da- So she, this girl I was, like, liked for a couple months, and we were seeing each other. She, um... She started dating some other guy, and I didn't know this until their six month anniversary because she posted it on her Instagram story or her Snapchat story. Mm. And then I looked at the date, and I was like, "Yo, what a shady bitch!" And I go back to my I go back to my phone because I had a picture of the two of us, and I was like, "I was like, six months is the day after I left her house." I'm like, so she started dating. I, I fucked her that morning before I left. Like, so she started dating her new boyfriend the day we had sex with each other. I'm like, that's hilarious. That was pretty cool to learn. I felt pretty awesome about that. I was like, I was like I'm king shit for, for for a second. That's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty fun stuff. This episode's gonna be called like the ones where it's like uh, Alex and Robbie just make themselves look like terrible people for for thirty minutes. Okay, well, I have a story recently about 
No, well, not really. No, you don't. My next story. So uh, this is going to be called the more Alex talks and Robbie tries to talk. That's good. <laughs> which is basically the theme of all the episodes. It's kind of just our, our, our shit. It's hard to It's kind of, our, kind, of, kind of our thing. Yeah. It's not biggie. Um, second thing I want to mention, because I mentioned, I alluded to it earlier, so kind of you got to forgive me. I alluded to it in the first minute of the episode, nine minutes ago. I was like, I had a friend who was supposed to come over, but didn't. Yeah, I, you did say that. So I kind of, you'd yeah, be also, wrong with me not to The mood I'm in right now, I'm kind of good just being the, uh... I can tell, because when you are talking, I'll be with, honest, it's not that much of a contribution. It's really not. What's the guy with Conan? Andy Richter. I'm good at being the Andy Richter in this situation. All right, so then shut the fuck I'll up and let me talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. You laugh and occasionally get joking there, but if it's too funny, you stop talking, because it's my turn to shine. Yeah. It's the Coco show. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. We've Conan Bryan's off the air. No, it seems weird. It's fucked up. Now we have, now, well, now we have the... He's clearing the way for the other comedy genius of late night talk shows like Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel and uh, Seth Meyers and fucking. Here's a question: Jimmy Kimmel's like about to retire now, supposedly or something like the last ten years. Yeah. And I just realized it's like he's really young to be retiring from that. <laughs> like he's like forty his, something. He's like fifty maybe, and it's like isn't how is how is Seth Meyers in the start of his late night career, but Jimmy Kimmel's in the end of his late night career, and they're like the exact same age. That's a good point. I think the whole late night career thing should kind of just die stop out. being a thing. Now yeah, Conan yeah. left. I feel like Conan was the not last. Like the he was the last Conan, one. But he yeah. was the last one who was like legitimately a late night talk show guy. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Well, Conan was also. I feel like Conan's the last one who was actually respected of a late night talk show guy. That's my point. And like he actually did shit at least. Yeah. And like brought like he contributed to it. Yeah. It's yeah. A, it's a dying art. It kind of needs to die and be gone for a couple of years. Oh, same chick, back. by the way, from earlier, the one with the tubes tied. Yeah. Uh, asked me like, what cologne I wear because she's like, she's, she's saying she might get some. Like, what the fuck? So that's that's a dumb thing about her saying. She's Did you get hear what I just said? No, I I, I heard part of it. But she sorry. asked what cologne I wear, and then all of hands said maybe she'd get some, like for herself. This girl's fucking insane, yeah, bro. Fucking, fucking ba- bats, shit, bananas, the fuck and away, Batman, dude. Pretty the cool. whole tube tied thing, though, she's like, "Did probably I don't want to have kids." First I said, of "No, all, it doesn't," because that's no, not fair. It's not fair for her to bother me. It's not fair, me. but like that's that's reversible. So if you two fell in love and she decided she wanted to have kids, it's not a permanent situation. Yeah, so that's why true. Why you bring it up? That's true. She didn't say I want to sterilize myself. She yeah. just said, that's such why a good you point. even bring I didn't it up. About that. Why even bring it up and worry about it before you even went out on a first date? Dude, the weird part though was it was it was clearly contrived because she brought up doctors randomly. Oh, that's fucking gross. You're right. I know. She it wasn't the side of the way now. She, got, right. she brought up doctors as like the... Se- so she like made up a segue, which you can't do. So she made up a conversational segue and was like, what are your... I need, I don't... I, I'm afraid of doctors. I, 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 I doctors. Oh, by, by the way, I'm going to get my tubes tied. And I was like, okay. And then it became so... Is that okay with you? And I was like, I guess. And I said, I'm like, I said to her, I was like, it's not... It doesn't matter. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's not... I'll do whatever the hell you want to do. And then she was like, well, would you leave me for? I'm like, leave you for what? You're right. That's fucked up. She brought up the way. She should have been intelligent with it and said, so what are you watching? On the offhanded chance you happened to mention a show that had Oh, my God. Um, she's like, what are you watching? I'm like, uh, a documentary about a tube tying. Oh, my God. That's such that's a relevant so funny. thing. I wanted I just, to tell I told, you. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. I wanted to mention. I want to get my tubes tied. Is that that's too close for you? Because I feel like it's you're just banging. No, into I'm kind of right? fucking around that. I'm banging into so you're it. Enjoying it. Yeah. Don't break that shit, man. I got that in Vienna. That's right. I went to Vienna. I just dropped that shit casually. That was pretty badass, man. That was actually kind of smooth. Speaking of Thanks. dropping shit casually, uh, you know I'm learning German. Now you say, did you know I'm learning German? Um. Did you know I'm learning German? Now you say, ish. Been dumb fuck! <laughs> I was, I was, God, you're so dumb. I was saying, hey, did you know, uh, Robert, that I learned German? You're supposed to be like, hey, Alex, did you know that I'm learning German? And then we both like, we're both learning German, but you're a fucking moron. You're like, ich bin, uh, stupid. Or, or, or moron, you could, just could have been, ich bin, wait, you're learning German too? You could have saved this, oh, like, you're so pissed off. Dude, I just wish once, what, just once, if I could have, if I could have but one wish this Christmas season, okay, nice it'd reference. be this. For you to just to kind of get where you are sometimes. Okay, Alex, right back at you. You never set up my jokes. Anytime I tell a story in this podcast, you go on your phone and don't listen. Who the fuck are you to get mad at me for not setting you up one of every ten attempts? Who the fuck are you, Brenda? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he says barf? Yeah, barf. I said puke every time I did the reference. Maybe just say puke. I don't know. It's a good show. Mm, it's a great Speaking show. of a show, we finished Weeds. We finished Weeds, dude. And I didn't Eight like the season. ending. I like the ending a lot. I think the last episodes are great. I think they should have... So you think the third class episode was really good when they went, to, when they went back to a regressic? Yes, and I liked the episode before that where they implied they were going to do it. Okay. And I think, like I think, part I two think part that one. episode also continued from the last one. I think they liked the last five episodes. Okay, so you should like the last two. I felt like the last two were just forced. They were they were like, hey, it's a reunion of all the characters you love. Here's where they are now. And then Doug gets this whole you know turn of character, which was undeserved, because you said he had those moments in the beginning of the show, but by the later half of the show, he was just a prick yeah. through and through, and it's fine. 
But he didn't need to have any kind of resolve. He started a fucking cult. Here's he the thing. You know that thing kid. we mentioned earlier upstairs about that character, the father? Yeah. Justin Kirk? Yes. Classic. <laughs> yes. That's sick. On the podcast. Documented. That's amazing, yes. Anyway, continue. Dude, that's fucking perfect because when I pitched the idea, I was thinking of someone kind of acting that way, but I didn't think of him for some reason. I, I love Justin Kirk so much, dude. Way. Honestly, the only reason I think I like Weeds is because, because of, of Justin Kirk, yeah. Because even when the show sucked, he was still the a That scene in Succession it. was fucking awesome. Yeah, but honestly, I don't know if I like Kieran Culkin 100% either sometimes in that show. Even I though like I like Justin him Kirk. most of the time, you know I like him most of the time. I do feel like he kind of ruins that scene because he's Dude, being too. Dude, and I don't fucking buy for a second. Whoever wrote that episode, they did not write anointed with a coke. That was a thousand percent him talking. Yep, and they did not write from the kiss it either. No, that ga- I fucking refuse to believe that Justin Kirk was instructed to kiss that can of coke in Succession season three episode six. In season three episode six, he kissed the coke himself. He said anointed with a coke himself, and they're like, "That's pretty fucking awesome." They kept it. it There's no way they're awesome. like, "Yep." Good job, Justin. Just the way I wrote it. That didn't happen. I, I think the same thing about Weeds, too, because the quality of Weeds dips throughout the show. But, but he, doesn't he doesn't dip. His character never fucking no. falters, no matter He's what's going on. He's always great, and every storyline he has, as dumb as they get, they're always enjoyable because it's him doing it. And actually, the worse the quality of the show gets, he gets longer and longer monologue yeah. kind of scenes where he gets to go on these rants and shit. And his monologues are actually insane, the stuff they gave him to do in that show. He'd have like yeah. a four-minute scene of talking about not, And also, his ability to fucking say things in a... Because obviously every actor is supposed to say things like they're off the cuff, but his character is saying stuff off the cuff. I don't believe that that's all on page. I know. I think There's they too show many random pauses. They in show him the script and he goes, "Okay," and then they go, "They go action." Do your thing. They say action. He says nothing that was on the page, and they say cut, and they go, "That was great, Justin." But what was that? He's like, "My mom was better." Yeah, like, I could okay, be. Yeah, I could it was better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really enjoyable, though. He probably gets an idea of what they want him to say, and he just does his own thing. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Um, I have a little bit more to say about him. That's okay. Before yeah. we go on to the next thing. He's definitely my favorite character on the show. Is he? A hundred percent. And you know, I feel you, like it's a close. I feel like he's first for me too, but close second would be Shane. Shane is close, but I just I think I can relate to the viewpoints of Andy. You want to know who's more. not my favorite character? And I've had those moments. That not not really, but who? You want to know who's not my favorite character on Weeds? Who? Yes. I'll give you a hint. Silas. It's Silas. Silas sucks. It's it's Silas. Silas does suck. Um. I feel like of all the characters, you know, like when you watch shows, you relate to characters and how they feel themselves, and like, oh, they're in that bad situation. Like, I felt that way playing. Yeah, times, blah, it's blah, certain blah. shows you have characters you relate to, like Andy, and characters you don't relate to, like Silas. Exactly. <laughs> so, like when Andy has that moment before he gets to finally fuck Nancy, which, dude, good for him. That was pretty cool. Kudos to you. Pretty rad. When he says how he's like, I've, I, you know, I, I convinced myself I came to help you guys out because I was lost, and you know, what? I'm still lost here. It's like, dude, I get that. I feel that way so much. And it's like... You know what the difference, though, is? But hold on. I, I feel like I can relate to him as a character. Like, okay, I, I'm not... If I'm in this show, this is my character. Yeah. But I'm not nearly as cool as him. I want to be as cool as yeah. Justin Kirk. That's well, the problem. You, you haven't spoken as long as he has yet. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not as Jewish as him. We can... We can, I think you can we pass can clip for Jewish. We can clip this whole thing as a crazy Jewish? Justin Kirk and send it to him. We should. Yeah. Do you think you can pass as Jewish? I've been told I can pass for Jewish. Okay. And I have a, a crazy affinity for Jewish uh, tradition. So do I. I think so it's I. absolutely beautiful how they I think, worship. I think we have to. We're based on ge- geographically. We're, yeah. we're, but we're basically in the, we're I mean, in the I would promised never, land light, Long I, Island. I would never convert, but if there's one group that could convince me I should convert, it'd be them. I don't think that'd be bad to convert to that. I mean, they wouldn't want you to convert because they don't like that. But my point was, like, it's like you're not really changing religion. You're kind of just neglecting half of your religion. That's actually a really fair point. It's actually, some could say, the precursor to Christianity. Yeah, so I guess it's not that bad. So we're just going change. back to a previous class. We, mm-hmm. We're taking the pre kit to our class. Yeah. That is what it is. Uh, and if God's all about free will in the first place, then technically you shouldn't have to believe in Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess that's true. So you're not doing anything wrong here. I'm not speaking, not because I don't. I was going to say, since you're not talking, I was going to say earlier before you want to finish your point, I said, you know, the, difference between you, you, the big difference though between you and Andy is? He's cool. He actually got with Nancy. <laughs> you haven't gotten yeah, with Nancy. Thank you. I know it's your lifelong dream. Yeah, I've always had a thing for her. I think she's my Elijah Dusku. Yeah. But you know the one who's my Elijah Dusku? Elijah Dusku? Elijah Dusku. You know my cool. second Elijah Dusku? Who? I don't think I know your second Elijah Dusku. Really? My second, like, go-to celebrity crush? I don't know if I know this. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I feel like an idiot if I say the wrong thing on the air. Mm-hmm. But uh, is it Nikki Reed? No, not even remotely in, like, top 60. Is it Spencer from Pretty Little Liars? She's, like, top 10. Troy and Belisario, she's, like, top 10. Is it Michelle Trachtenberg? She's probably, like, top 15. Is it anybody from the Buffy cast? No. Okay. Give me a hint. Give me a hint here. 
Uh, good hands, good hands. See, when the Mark pressure's on you, it's hair. hard sometimes, Alex. We won't give so much shit next time I can't respond I to responded. you. So dark long. You took at least hair. 45 minutes. Long curly hair, dark, dark curly, curly hair. hair. The fuck do you know has dark curly hair? I don't know her <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's a celebrity crush. Who the fuck celebrity has dark curly hair? This one. This person doesn't exist. Next one. Their real name's Amy, but their stage name isn't Amy. I have no idea who this person is. Their stage name, their initials are MD. MD, oh, Mindy, MD. Mindy? I don't know who this is. It's Mindy Driver. <laughs> oh, yeah, she does have dark hair. Black curly hair, yeah. yeah. Is it, though, because there's a period where she had blonde in her hair? Was it just that's awesome, dyed, or was it her had, actual she, roots? That's, there's a period in her time where she had her hair color. That's crazy. Maybe she's not. Maybe she doesn't have dark hair at all, actually. I mean, does right. she dye it dark? No. Fucking like asshole. It was obvious what I was getting at. Yeah, her name's Amy. Isn't that crazy? I'm yeah. Her name's Amelia. Amelia Fiona J. Driver. Where did Minnie come from? She's I also quite a, tall. I think it was so. her childhood nickname. Yeah. Like how I got British for a second, said quite. Quite tall. Get to your other story because I'm fading here. You are fading. Could you, could you just shut him up? No, the second no, half of the story. No, I'm talking too much. I work better in small increments. <sighs> the second half of the thing. Well, I mean, technically, this episode should honestly end in like 40 seconds. We're not committing to this 22-minute 22 22 bullshit, okay? I think we should commit to 22 episodes of podcast. It's a thing no one else does. We'll do 22-minute episodes. It's fucking genius. It is genius, but we should have the visual part and do like some fucking like actually make you feel like a laugh track thing we said initially. All right, fine. Then we'll do that, but right now we're not doing that. So it's just 22 minutes now. Think about this honestly, too. Here's the thing. Podcasts are great with the whole long form yada yada yada. Podcasts too often, when they're four episodes, they fall off track at too many points and I get bored. Okay? That's very How about true. we just pick one topic per episode for 22 minutes and we talk about that? Okay? We make it, we go full circle back to scripted television series. We turn podcasting into the most oppressive, least opinion sharing, most. Desensit- no, most sensitized version of anything it could possibly be, we turn into where you have to worry about you know who your advertising dollars are, and you're, uh, you don't want to say anything too bad when pull away funding, and you got to make it like more of a business. We should we should just ruin podcasting. It's a great idea. It's noble. It is pretty noble. It's actually the most noble cause All you right. could have on a podcast. We'll turn podcasting into something so goddamn horrible that they make a new version of podcasting. I thought it was just going to go backwards and cycle through again where television becomes really good. It again. does. No, 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 no. No, because well, then podcasting becomes like television I mean, and everyone complains that it's too fucking, oh, everyone's the same. They're afraid of offending people and they all say the same stuff and it's it's such bad writing and everything That's else. That's true. We should really start being more free to offend And also, people. if we just say that, if we just prove, if we do 22 minutes too, it's realistic. It's a possibility for someone to remember 22 minutes of dialogue. Mm-hmm. If we just keep them 22 minutes, we can say everything's scripted and get away with saying anything we want all the time. It's, really it's all good. scripted. These are characters. Are really and we'll end it with credits. Oh, that's a good idea. But you just admitted the uh, the golden goose in the background behind the red card and the man behind the machine, so... What's that? That's not all scripted. Don't it is all scripted. This is part of the show. It's being meta. Oh, shit. See? See? It's pretty good. This is all fucking written down. It's that's so why you can't see the visual right now, because right now, since we're not so well-versed in our characters, the reason we're taking a break from the camera is so we can just comfortably read lines. We're, sh- sh- we're turning pages right now. It's insane. And then also, we incorporate the whole... <laughs> It's fucking awesome. Like, it's such a good idea, guys. What do you guys think? Like, oh, Zoom. Zoom is Avada. Go to your bed. Start to gibberish shit. It's awesome, dude. It's genius. I, I agree. And you know what? Episode's over. Want to hear about the, the next storyline? Go to the next episode. Tune in next week. <laughs>